Hey guys, welcome to Training Reviews. Today I'm going to give you an unboxing and full review of the DOS Soundbox Bluetooth speaker that I bought from Amazon. Now it costs only about £35, it's quite cheap and I'm just going to give you a full review of how the sound quality is, the build quality, how to pair it, how to link it with your Amazon Echo and to give you an overall review of the advantages and disadvantages of this high based Bluetooth 4.0 device. So let's get straight into it. Okay, let's go ahead and unbox this. So we have the user guide. It comes with the auxiliary cable, so you can uh, output your audio from any other device. You have got your USB charging cable, and then you have the actual device. This is how it looks. Not too heavy. You've got a few ports on the back. At the bottom you have some nice grips so if you put this down on your desk it doesn't move. Let's see if there's anything else in the box. Let's lift this up. At the bottom you have a carry case. There we go. So that's all of the uh, items in the box. Now let's go ahead and look at the device itself. Okay guys, so let's have a look at the top of the design box. Now here you have the mode button. So you touch this and it cycles between the memory card, the auxiliary input and the Bluetooth. So if you wanted to change your audio input, you can do that by pressing this button. You then have the play and pause button this is also used to answer phone calls if you've got this connected to your mobile phone to take calls. At the bottom you also have the previous track and next track buttons. And in the middle you have the volume control. If you go clockwise that will increase the volume. If you go counterclockwise that will turn the volume down. It's pretty straightforward and it's very easy to use. At the back you have the on and off button. You hold this down for 3 seconds to turn the device on and equally you would hold it down for 3 seconds to turn it off you will hear a confirmation sound when you do either of both of those things you then have the line in port you put the auxiliary cable into this and you can connect it to either your car stereo, your TV anywhere that accepts 3.5mm jack auxiliary cables to transfer audio from one device into the speaker by playing it into the speaker next you have the TF card slot you can put a mini SD card in there to transfer your audio files and play directly into the sound box and finally you have the USB charging port at the end to charge your sound box. Alright guys, the first time you use the speaker you'll need to pair it to your phone or your laptop or wherever you want to pair it to. You hold down the button at the back where it says on and off for about 3 seconds. You hear the noise and the circle will keep blinking blue. Mine has been paired already with my laptop so it will be a solid blue light there as you can see. Now I'm just going to go ahead and show you the sound quality by playing a song via my laptop. So as I'm playing this, I'll be putting the volume up by moving my finger around the blue circle in a clockwise motion. Uh, and I'll put the volume down as well just to show you the, how loud the speaker can actually get. So my volume on my laptop will be about mid-level, it won't be full to the max because this can get pretty loud. But you can see and hear some of the bass and the quality in the audio as well, so let me know what you guys think. Put the volume up. And I'm putting the volume all the way down. It's very touch sensitive, so it's very easy to do. That beep you heard when I was putting the volume up indicates that that was the maximum volume. But let me know what you guys thought of the audio. I think it's really great. You can hear it from very far away in your house. If, even if you have this upstairs, you'll be able to hear it downstairs depending on how loud you put the volume up on your device, i.e. my laptop or my mobile phone. 
You can also use this to make phone calls by using the answer call button on the top right there. And you can also end the calls with the same button, obviously. Now let's go ahead and show you pairing this with the Amazon Echo Dot. And let me see what you guys think. Okay, so I've got my Amazon Echo Dot here. Now the first thing you need to do is go into your Amazon Alexa app on your mobile phone. You go into settings, you click on your Echo Dot name, you click on Bluetooth, and then at the bottom you click on pair new device. Now to do this, you have to make sure that your DOS sound box is in pairing mode. So to do that, I first need to turn off and disconnect the Bluetooth from my laptop, which is already connected to this. So I'll go ahead and do that now. I turn the device off. When I turn it back on, the blue, the blue circle light should be blinking. Now it's in pairing mode. And DOS sound box has come up on my Amazon Alexa app. So I'll be selecting that. And I'll get a confirmation noise from this. DOS sound box. Now that you're paired, next time just say, connect my speaker. Now that it's paired, Amazon uh, Alexa has told me that I can just next time say, connect to my speaker. So now let's go ahead and ask the Echo Dot to play a song using the sound box. Alexa, play the radio station. Getting the last tune in station you listen to, Heart Extra. Alexa, volume 10. Stop. So you can see everything I'm saying to Alexa is being relayed on via Bluetooth on the sound box. Now it's very good, it's very loud. I think the sound quality is amazing. It does a really good job. I've seen other rival products like the Anchor sound box and various others on Amazon. This one is uh, slightly cheaper, so I was a bit skeptical. I went for the one in red. But overall, I think it's done a great job, and I think for the price that you're paying, it's actually really good. And it's quite compact as well, so in terms of the storage, you can easily put this into any backpack, take it with you. It's not the lightest of speakers. It does, if you want to see the size of it, it maybe fits just in the palm of your hands, maybe a little bit bigger. And I think overall, I would give it a solid eight out of 10. I think DOS have done a really good job with this speaker. They've uh, made something really good here. It comes in various different colors, and I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's looking for a Bluetooth speaker to play either around the house, you can even play it in your car. You can connect it to your TV and have your TV's output audio onto this device. And if you wanted to, you can connect any device which has a 3.5 millimeter jack uh, input and connect that to the back of the sound box there and you can play it through the speakers as and when you want. It's really good if you want to go out, take it to the park or anything like that. And just to finally show you how it looks in the carry case, I'll just go ahead and turn that off. Hold it for three seconds. Slot that in there. Very easy to carry. You can put it into any backpack, take it in the car, take it with you on your journeys, on the train, whatever you like. And I would definitely recommend it. I've got the link in the description below where you can purchase one of these on Amazon. And let me know what you guys think, if you've uh, got the same sound box, what your experiences are with this. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you like the review. I think this is a really good device. I would recommend it for anyone. I think the battery life is really good on it. It takes about two to three hours to fully charge if you've drained the battery on it already. And it lasts quite a long time. Depending on how much you use it, it can last about a week to even up to a month. So. I do recommend it, the link is in the description below. If you liked the review, please do give the video a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.